first of all, and I'll, I'll listen to the, the parties in a moment, but this court the record has tried, as it um, has admittedly exercised drastic action, trying to get Hunter to, to have contact with his father. We've done month off, month on, week on, week off. On the, the order of, August, of December 20th, 2023, going back to December, uh, father was awarded parenting time Christmas Day until review on February 14th, today's date. That did not work. Hunter would not uh, uh, get out of mom's vehicle, would not have any contact with dad. Uh, so that uh, caused the guardian letter of the to file a motion with this court, which he did on January 12th, asked the court to review this um, prior to the review of February 20th, because nothing was going to change. So this court, I believe, heard the matter on January 23rd. It made sense. Nothing was changing. Nothing was happening. So the court reviewed it on January 23rd and entered it in, 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 in admittedly a, a drastic form of action in terms of ordering that mother bring Hunter to court. Uh, mother has followed the directions of the court. She has done that. And Hunter will knock it out of her vehicle. Perhaps it's creating more problems, unfortunately. So without uh, argument, necessity of argument, the court will, in fact, first of all, set aside the order of this court to enter January 23rd, 2024. That no longer is best interest of minor child. In addition, the court will order that mother enroll Hunter in virtual school, presumably with Bedford schools, if they will permit that. Why? The court, sir, don't interrupt, Mr. Enix. I will let you talk when I call upon you. Do not interrupt. Finally, I, I will set a review. We'll talk about a review date shortly sometime in April. And the court's going to order, and I'm open to any suggestions, that the court is going to order that there be an evaluation of Hunter. And the court is, uh, would suggest that the parties consider University of Michigan Mott Children's Hospital to be initiated by the place of mother. It needs to be a full, and not an MD. We need a specialist that somebody can do this. We, there's a disagreement between medical professionals, whether or not you uh, Hunter is suffering from pandas or something else. He clearly has some deep-rooted psychological and issues and problems in life. I could just invite dad over to the house to have a cup of coffee and sit with Hunter with the understanding that he's not going to leave Hunter. But obviously, these parents, unfortunately, cannot co-parent to this child, to the detriment of this child. Um, so with that, I'm going to first of all call on uh, Mr. Mr. Jednick. Do you have any uh, uh, further recommendations in terms of Hunter needs treatment? And I, uh, the court has read your most recent updated report, and I appreciate your involvement, your efforts in this case. But everything, of course, tried to date has not worked. So... We need, I, I think, the full psychological evaluation of Hunter by a qualified person at some facility, whether it's out of state or whether it's at Univers University of Michigan Mott's Hospital. But the court recalls at one time, Ms. Simon, they had an appointment at Mott's Hospital, but Mr. Simon and Mr. Unique. Parenting time. I, I don't think in order for parent time, it's going to work. So it's, it's, it's futile. Anything else you want to add, Mr. Jadnick? Well, second, uh, the the disagreement between the parties, and this is going to get into the specialist and evaluation, is uh, there's a incredible disagreement about the PANDAS diagnosis that uh, mom has obtained. And, uh, of course, uh, dad has very strong feelings about that diagnosis. So there's going to be a battle of specialists. So, I mean, I welcome and invite mom to identify a specialist, get a consultation, get that information to the court. So. Uh, Mr. Enix has opportunity to see it, and I'd like to see it and determine if that's the best course of action. But we do, do need to move forward, and I do want to put that uh, mom in the driver's seat on that because Hunter is likely to go with mom to these appointments, and that's the only way we're going to move forward. So I want to give her that discretion, provided she gets that information to the court. All right, thank you. Mr. Uh, Chappell. Your Honor, I, I thought Mr. Jednick's suggestion relative to the medical treatment was um, very appropriate relative to um, before anything actually is implemented, um, that a Lombardo hearing would take place. Um, that way, you know, we, we could then, you know, the parties will have the opportunity to make any arguments that they want to make relative to the suggested course of treatment. That way we can at least move the ball down the down the field. So um, I that. Um, Ms. Simon will investigate the options um, and then present them to the court. And I'm sure we'll be, we will be chatting with them as well. But again, th this is why I think Mr. Jednak's um, suggestion makes a lot of sense. 
We don't have to argue today about yes, what the suggested course of treatment is. We only have to, we understand that we'll be identifying, here's what we believe should happen. And, and, and obviously for a full evaluation as the court is ordered. And, and if there's disagreement about it, then, you know, we'll, we'll argue about it at that time when, you know, when, <laughs> it, when we, when the information is presented. As Ms. Ms. I hope she's not going to go back to the same doctors that uh, that uh, she needs to be a specialist, not just some general MD that uh, that claims that's not as familiar with pandas. So I am hoping she can move uh, forward, and I, the court believes it should be a, a facility that employs specialists. So perhaps you can she can go online and uh, reach out to other doctors and find a specialist in this field. And we so can insist quickly. in that regard as well, Your Honor. All right, All right, uh, Mr. Enix. Yes, sir. Um, so this has been going on for a number of years now. Um, Courts are well aware of that. I, well, I would like to very well I, I make some statements here. Phoenix. Okay, well, uh, we're, we're not then because the very first place that Ms. Simon went was the University of Medical, University of Michigan Medical Center to seek out this pandas treatment in the very beginning. They denied her. They told her to go to the Mott Center to have psychological examinations done on Hunter. She never completed that. She then sought out Sancta Familia in Columbus. Okay. After her pediatrician and everything all said pandas wasn't a thing. Okay. Then she hand selected Dr. Jara, who you court ordered us to see, who then has him and the court ordered neurologist, Dr. Nagel, both have listed and signed their name to papers that say they are concerned that Ms. Simon suffers from Munchausen by proxy. That's never been addressed. That's been allowed to continue. Um, so then once that happened, she sought out pediatric place in Cleveland, and that was her specialist. She does all that without any knowledge. No PCP has ever brought up pandas, and that's the only thing that she has sought out. I've asked this court numerous times now to please get my son's psychological evaluation for years now, and we haven't done that. Now, on top of that, if all of what they're saying about my son's mental state is true, why has he not seen his therapist, Mr. Pauling, since December 18th? If he is having such mental breakdowns to the point where things are going on, why is he having one? Why is he not seeing a child psychologist? I just left my psychologist, Dr. Cicillo, and he has the same questions I have, that if this is continuing to go on and the only thing she's pursuing is pandas, but she doesn't pursue a psychological exam for my child, this whole time, what I've, I've, I've located right in Lambertville, Michigan, there's a child psychologist through Mercy who is very well rated, very good, takes his insurance, can get him in, can do all of that. He could call there today and schedule a point with him. But I would like to, if we're going to do this, that you set forth that it needs to be the University of Medical, University of Michigan Medical Center and the Mott Center that he goes to, and we follow all of their recommendations. We don't go off the cusp. I, we put it in the hands of those medical professionals, and we follow what they say. Because if school is the most important thing that we've been concerned about, um, I've provided you a copy, um, everybody here, of Hunter's IEP discharge. Um, he did IEP for one year in third grade. Um, in that IEP discharge, you will find that um, before he went to fourth grade, after that year, that was the first full year that I was given the 50-50 week on, week off schedule. And Hunter had a regular, um, regular relationship with me in school. He was off the IEP within one year. He read at a level of 514 with 517 being above. He was in math on level at 209. Now, this was after COVID years and all the school he missed for the so-called pandas. Okay. Now, they also go on to report that he is no longer eligible because of this for a special needs student. Then they also go on to list that Hunter was absent. Um 14 days that school year, all of which were under mom's time. Okay. And um, then they listed uh, his excuses of anxiety, refusing to get out of the car. Now, this is the IEP report signed by these professionals. Um, 
basically what they're stating there is as soon as the half 50 50 parenting time went on and hunter was coming to me regularly you'll also see his grade card for that year he soared so then we look at the next year at his grade card and his attendance of the same 50 50 with no iep help him doing himself he is doing outrageously great at school he's getting raving reviews yet he still missed 17 days of school that year now the school year is 180 days he didn't miss any days with me he missed those with mom that equates to 20 percent of the time that mom had him he missed school that equates to basically about one day per week so that's third grade that's fourth grade then we roll into fifth grade last year where the wheels started to fall off um i was i coached him in fourth grade football i coached him in fifth grade football October, i'm sorry october about the second week the wheels started falling off with miss simon and he started missing school left and right before december she only had him to school for one full week of school and that was november 13th before that i was still not getting my time with him on a regular basis but i did not bring it to the court then Three weeks before Christmas, she proceeded to give me, and there are text messages that were provided that show she gave him to me for those three weeks because he was being unruly with her. I took him no problem. He got sick. He ended up going back. He stayed with me for two weeks. He went back with mom for one week. Then he came back for the Christmas holiday. Then he went back to mom's. Then he came back to me for the New Year's uh, to go back to school. He went to that first week of school in January then the wheels fell off and he's never set foot back in a school facility since then except for the one day at the beginning of this school year he did virtual school last year but he didn't do the program the right way where he was supposed to be on camera supposed to be audible instead he was no camera not audible to the point where douglas road elementary school because mother took fmla um vacation they thought unprovable that she was doing the work for him because the conversations back and forth with my son that anybody knows the history he doesn't communicate and ask questions and all that stuff however the teacher was getting bombarded with question after question after question after question um and the work was getting done but nothing was done on camera so basically what we have is a history shown by the school that when hunter's with me on time <coughs> lindsay's doing everything she's supposed to do he goes to school he soars he does every however history shows with mom he misses school on a consistent basis now is that pandas only when he's with mom i don't think so i think that's more of an underlying problem but i'm not being given a chance to do anything and now i'm being told that he's being forced to go to online school which if he comes to me i can't facilitate i don't have my mom retired at home like she does see what she does is she goes to work every morning and leaves him with grandma who then sits there and allows him to watch tv all day so there's no punishment she showed up to one day when she was ordered to come to court which was that friday she called in that monday and said that he was having a breakdown wet the bed did all that same day i went to the doctor's appointment where none of that was brought up to the doctor she did bring up that he was chewing his fingers i asked the doctor to look at that he did he said there was no visible new damage to his fingers in fact he didn't see anything wrong we all held our hands out and said we all chew on our fingers the doctor also made a comment while we were in there of how well we were all getting along i was able to give hunter a hug during that doctor's visit hunter gave me a hug we were able to tell each other we loved each other there was no animosity there so the, the this this is a problem that i think we're putting on hunter to dress up um as away from things but the facts show that when he's not with her or outside of that home he's a completely different child that behaves in a completely different way and we're not able to see that until we separate him from mom and in my opinion to do that we have to rip the band-aid off and, and if there's a small bleed that we have to let scab up for me it hurts me to do anything like that to my son i love him very much but i'd rather take that five minutes of pain and get it over with then keep dragging this out because right now he was put in a mental facility by his mom released to his mom right back into the same equation he's been in he's been in his ongoing 
circle of the same situation and same circumstance with no change. And I'm not being allowed to parent or get any change, but I'm able to prove that when I get the opportunity, it's a completely different outcome. And I encourage that we get him to me still. We don't do the online school. We force in school. We hold Miss Simon accountable. We get him to me. And when he gets to me for a week, I don't care if we do it every day, every three days, we have the guardian come visit so he can see every single day of the progress because I know my child and it's like I'm being told that I don't know my child. I don't have a relationship with them. He's being manipulative. He's winning right now by granting him online school because that's what he wants. He initially wins again. So he won by not getting out of the car. He wins by not having to go to school. He'll win by having the online school. So Hunter is winning. There's no consequence for any of his actions or any accountability for anybody and i'm sorry but i'm being called names and being blamed and being painted as a certain way when all i want is the best for my son and i want some doctors not these run-of-the-mill guys that Lindsay goes and searches out but actually some hard doctors to go through because we've done it we've gone through the pcp we've gone through the neurologist we've gone through the immunologist and we've gone through the psychiatrist which all say pandas is not affected all of them and they were all court ordered by this court, and this court refuses to acknowledge the Munchausen by proxy, which is a problem because, especially in today's day and times with things that are going on, how serious this is, I'm afraid one day we might be reading another story about my son, and that's not fair to him. So I asked the court to consider all of this evidence that I just presented that shows with me getting to school, Hunter soars. Without me, he fails miserably. All right, to Mr. Unix, uh, all your comments are noted for the record. And the court has given you the opportunity to get Hunter to school, but he will not get in the car with you. He won't go to the doctor's appointment with you. He won't go to school with you. He won't get in, in your in your vehicle. So how do you propose he doesn't show that up. this court? All right, I'm not going to, you keep interrupting, Mr. Unix. So I'm just telling you the record reflect you were given the opportunity. Uh, you've not been able to make it work. I don't know what you're suggesting. Well, how do you, how do you suggest this court get Hunter into your home? Well, first, we have to separate him from mom. I've said that now for five, six okay. years. It's well, been the same thing. We had to do, do it, it before. Mr. Enix, if you as his father cannot do that, who's going to do it? You. I'm not going to go out to his house. And what do you want me to do? Call I'm not police? asking you to go out to his house. I'm asking you to force mom to bring him to the courtroom, to your chambers, where you will have him. She can leave from that point. You can give him to me. It's that Mr. simple. Enix, it's been reflects. done numerous times. The record should reflect that Miss Simon was here numerous days and Hunter would knock it out of the vehicle. Miss Patrick went out, tried talking to him, he would knock it out of the vehicle. Miss Simon the was court. there one she day, sat sir. Out in the parking lot all day. So Miss Simon uh, was there one day, sir. She was not there every day. Okay. And she manipulated the court and lied to you. All right. All right. Uh, all right, the court's fair enough. Mr. So you're, uh, you're going to not acknowledge your court order. I just want to make sure I know for the record. The court satisfied she has complied with the intent of this court's order. Um, Mr. Chapel, the yes. court does not believe we need a psychological evaluation. We don't need the, the court is not going to put any weight on some report from this uh, Hispanic organization in Columbus, Ohio. So Ms. Simon should not waste your time going back to this organization that that uh, alleged panis. We need an independent psychological evaluation, not a panis evaluation, but a psychological evaluation. The court would strongly recommend Mott's children. That's where it started. Mr. Enix, uh, uh, I don't know what, what caused that evaluation to discontinue, but that's where the court would suggest we need an independent psychological evaluation. We don't need the Dr. Dad Jar. Dad had no clue about it, sir. Dad had Columbus. no clue about any of the panda stuff. You're not listening. Anything further? You're making false Mr. statements. Mr. You're putting Chappell. words in my mouth. Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank you. And I, we, I, we've heard the court loud and clear relative to the independent psychological exam. And we will be seeking that out. All right. And Mr. Enoch, you'll be provided with a copy of that. And then, then you can wait on that. And if you, it's uh, in the if file, you sir. Have... It's, sir, it's in your file right there with the evidence. It's been turned on. It says University of Michigan Medical Center at the top. She did all of that without that. my knowledge, sir. Everything she does for pandas is without my knowledge. I've never picked a doctor, sir. I've never had a, a chance to get a second well. opinion. You ordered everything and you refused to stand by. by. Mother, Mr. Chapel, if you could provide the order to that effect, please. Yes. Uh, Final going to set a review date. Because I want Ms. Simon to move on this so that we hopefully have a, a maybe a, just a summary from reports. 
I'm, uh, the court's thinking is uh, in April. Uh, so you're going to roll this out to April and keep my son from me even more? We can't get an evaluation overnight, Mr. Enix. It's going to take him time. Sir, to do you realize how long my son has not been in any relationship with his father or his family? For and years. you're saying that's healthy to continue? And you're going to allow so, Ms. Simon, who I've so, proven now over and over again, is failing. Hey, but you Mr. Enix, again, if this was about child support, Mr. I'd be Enix, in jail. Mr. Enix, stop. What no. You, you want this court to go down and, and, and forcefully pull yes. him out of his mother's house? Or hold his mom in contempt. That's where we started. Do what your order okay. says. Okay. All right. Your comments are uh, your suggestion noted, Mr. Enix. Both says so it's review um, in April. I'm looking at the, perhaps the, uh, uh, the first week of April. Yeah, I'll, I'll be um, yeah, I'll be out of town. That uh, well, I, I can have I can have Miss Waskovia cover it, though, Your Honor. That's fine. It's going to the bar and Lansing anyway. Do you think that uh, I'm, I'm I have no idea the wait time at uh, Mott's Children's Hospital to get an evaluation? Maybe Miss Simon has a contact who she reached out to before before they discontinued that. Yeah, you know, we will be looking at that as well. And I've I've also thought about maybe reaching out to Sparks. Anytime, Your Honor, I'll make that work. At this point in time, uh, the uh, uh, we 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 don't want to uh, uh, obstruct this. We don't want the doctors to throw up his hands because Dad's upset. You've destroyed some other uh, medical relationships. Sir, I've only Nick, done so it to the panda specialist she snuck to. I've never done it to the University of Michigan or any of his PCPs. All right. You're, uh, you're putting words in the mouth. No, you're stepping <laughs> all over me, sir. <laughs> I uh, disagree with you, Mr. Nix. If you have a problem you're with not allowing me to represent myself properly. Okay. You're not. You're violating all my rights. <laughs> Call an attorney, and you can go to the Michigan Court of Appeals, Mr. Nix. I'm you're doing telling my me best. again to get an attorney? Is that what you're telling me? You're telling me uh, without an attorney, I have no rights? Not, I didn't say that at all, Mr. Nix. Stop with words in the mouth. We're done. And please, uh, uh, we'll uh, you know, I'll zoom out. Thank you, Your Honor. Absolutely.